AMD Radeon, Sapphire Nitro Plus, RX 580 8G, and Pulse RX 570 8G unboxing. Here are two brand new AMD Radeon RX 500 series cards. I have an RX 580 Sapphire Nitro Plus 8GB card and an RX 570 Sapphire Pulse 8GB card. I was going to get the 4GB version of the Pulse but I decided to get the 8GB version because it was just 10 to $15 more. So I grabbed an 8 and an 8. And you can see they have added the Pulse branding to their lineup where before it was just Nitro. You can see that these are Chinese versions. They have some Chinese characters on them. This is the old box for the 470. 480 came in the same box, just different label there. And this box is the same size as the Pulse box. So we can take a look at the 580 box. It's got the robot on it, like the 400 series, emphasizing the fans, details here like Vulcan Direct X12. The main difference on the back compared to the 400 series is that it mentions chill and relive the new drivers, and that's about it. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. The story here is the exact same that it says on the 400 series box. So you'll get a good experience on the budget. Here you can see the Pulse card. Smaller box. The artwork is just the Pulse and Lifeline. This 8 gigabyte here is just a sticker. So I'm curious if it says 4 gigabyte under there. And they just reuse the boxes or do the 4 gigabyte versions change to 8. I'm not sure. The back there's just a little bit less stuff than on the back of the 480. Otherwise pretty much the same stuff. Different story here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to try and take the sticker off. And look at that, it does say 4 gigabyte underneath it. So you'd have to wonder if they just use these boxes for 8 gigabyte versions or can the, eight, can the 4 gigabyte version be changed to 8 gigabyte version? I doubt it, but you never know. You never know. I found it odd that there was a sticker on this box. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. We'll take a look at the actual cards themselves. I'll start with the 470 since the 480 is probably more interesting for you. I'll save that for last. And again, in the bag, the 400 series came the same way for me like this. Just in a bag underneath here, a CD and a booklet. Nothing special, no cool posters or anything. So let's take the 470 Pulse out. And here we go. You can see on the front right away that they're just black stickers, cheaper stickers. They went cheaper on the labels here. On the side here, we can see that there is an 8-pin connection, which is good. At least they didn't cheap out and go to a 6-pin connection on this card. It does not have a light here. This is just chrome, so there's no LEDs it would look like. The back, you can see the pulse line. HDMI, DP, DVI. And otherwise, there is no dual BIOS switch. So, that kind of sucks, but oh well. Here is a 480 8GB eight card. And again, with the 400 series, the 480s and 470s were the same heatsink, same size. 
you can see that the new one is a little bit smaller it's about a centimeter smaller right here a little a centimeter shorter otherwise aside it does look very similar although the power has moved to the side where it used to be on the bottom right here and there is no uh, BIOS switch or LED switch well it's missing that really almost seems like a downgrade compared to a 470 now that I look at it you can see the heat pipes are generally the same they just look uh, smaller they're thinner these must be maybe six millimeter and these are eight millimeter I think uh, don't quote me on that but I'm that's what it looks like to me and again you can see the nicer stickers here so hopefully this ends up being an okay card but right now after opening up that card I would prefer to just get four seventies so let's take a look at the 480 8 gigabyte version I'll put that to the side puppy up and right away you can see the packaging is nicer it comes with a full foam insert doesn't come with the bag like the 470 comes in the old 480 used to come in a bag too so this is a lot nicer that they've got the foam insert here and right away you can see the card looks nicer it's got some detailing on it take it out underneath again we see the same stuff booklet CD useless stuff so here's the card itself, you can see it does have nice shiny stickers on it, the details going down the side here, and here it's got relatively nice uh, pipes here, again I think about 8 millimeters thick, and surprise there's a 4 pin and a 6 pin connection here, so you can get a lot of power to this card, and maybe that's the trick of this card, maybe it just takes more power, can get a better clock, otherwise pretty much the same as a 480. Here we can see the back, and the back plate's pretty similar to what it used to be like. And is there? Here we do see there is a BIOS switch uh, right here, but there's no LED button. So I'm curious how you change the color to the LEDs now. Maybe it's just software. Don't see any LED buttons. So it must be through software, I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, try that out later. And then we can again compare this card to the old one. This is also a 480, 8 gigabyte Nitro plus OC. And the new one's about a centimeter and a half, maybe a centimeter and a half to two centimeters, probably closer to a centimeter and a half longer, just a little bit longer. You can see that there, it's about a finger. And again, it's got the detailing down here. Uh, nice stickers on it, just like the old one did. Otherwise, they are about the same width. Uh, I'd say that the new one is just a couple millimeters wider, and it looks like a couple millimeters uh, fatter also. Let's see. Yeah, maybe just like a millimeter, uh, two millimeters thicker. Maybe a millimeter thicker. And of course, the old one didn't have the nice heat pipes on the side like the new one does, the 580. You can see the BIOS switches here again, the light switch. And it has more piping here on the old one. The new one's got slightly smaller pipe so I guess they've totally redone the cards PCB is different and again the power is not on the bottom the power is on the side here so maybe they're having a problem or they didn't like the spacing of it being on the bottom but right here you can see just how fat 
uh, that heat sink is. So these ones really must cool better than the older cards. Older cards, you can see it's, it's less than half the size, half the thickness of the new one. So these new ones must really cool better. Heat sink is small, like the old 480 heat sink, 470 heat sink. It's pretty much the same thing in there. So I will follow up this video with some testing with some different miners. Uh, show you some speeds of these two cards running stock, running on the OC, possibly try to mod them tomorrow. I have to find out what kind of memory is in these, so I'll show you what kind of memory I got. So stay tuned, I'll be back soon. I hope you like this video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.